Neo-behaviorism and purposive behaviorism. What is neo-behaviorism? Neo-behaviorism combines behaviorism with cognitive processes, emphasizing learning through experience, reinforcement, and mental factors like motivation. Neo-behaviorism was pioneered by Edward Tolman and Clark Hull, who expanded behaviorism by integrating cognitive processes like motivation and expectations into learning theories. Like for example in neo-behaviorism, Cognitive Maps A teacher lets students explore a new topic freely before giving structured lessons, allowing them to form their own understanding before formal instruction. What is Purposive Behaviorism? Purposive Behaviorism, by Edward Tolman, is the idea that all behavior is goal-directed and influenced by both external rewards and internal motivations. Latent Learning A boy walks to school every day and, over time, remembers landmarks like a bakery, a playground, and a big tree near the school gate. One day, a roadblock appears on his usual path. Instead of getting lost, he quickly takes another route using his mental map of the area, showing that he has developed a cognitive map to guide him. This demonstrates how people learn and store information about their surroundings, even without direct reinforcement. Intervening variables are hidden mental processes, like motivation, expectation, or thinking, that influence behavior but can't be directly observed. Example scenario A student, Anna, is usually quiet in class but suddenly starts answering many questions. The teacher wonders why. The intervening variable could be confidence. She studied hard the night before and feels ready to speak up. The teacher only sees the behavior but the real reason lies in these unseen mental factors. Learning is always purposive and goal-directed because individuals acquire knowledge and skills with a specific intention or objective in mind, whether it's to solve a problem, achieve a goal, or adapt to a situation. Learning can occur without reinforcement through observation, experience, and insight. For example, a child who watches their older sibling tie shoelaces eventually does it on their own without direct teaching or rewards. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share this video. Goodbye.